Tonight's lesson is the second part of compound handles. When I ask you in a test or an exam question or for homework to show that something equals something, you must always do left hand side and eventually show it's equal to the right hand side. So let's start with our left hand side. Cos 60 plus theta. This part is a compound angle. So the rhythm is cos cos sine sine. And we start with left hand side is cos 60 degrees cos theta. Change the sign, plus to minus, and then you have sine 60 degrees, sine theta, minus. Now, you, because there's a minus, you put the second part in brackets. There's another cos pattern, another cos compound angle. So it's again... Cos 60, cos theta, change the sign, it's a minus, so it becomes a plus, and then sine 60, cos theta. Now I'm going to multiply this minus into the brackets. Cos 60, Cos theta minus sine 60, sine theta minus cos 60, cos theta minus sine 60, cos theta. Now first look for like terms before you start working out the cos and the sine 60s. There's a cos 60, cos theta. There's another cos 60. Oh, yes. No, it must be sin. Uh, cos, cos, sin, sin, cos, cos, sin, that. Sorry, let me just sin. Thank you. Sign, sign. Thanks. So here we have two like terms. One of them minus one of them. So it's zero. Then we have another pair of like terms. The sine 60, sine theta. Negative one of them, negative one of them makes it negative two of them. Sine 60, sine theta. Those two oranges cancels out, it's zero. And these two becomes minus one, minus one, minus two. Okay? Now they usually tell you to simplify these without using a calculator. That means that you have to show your triangles. I'm going to use 60 degrees. So I have my 60 degrees triangle. And then I start multiplying. It's minus 2 over 1. Then you have to work out sine 60. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so it's square root 3 over 2. The sine theta stays as is. These twos cancel out, and we have 
square root 3 over 1 with a minus sine theta. And that looks pretty much like the right hand side. So it equals the right hand. Now for the second part, and you usually get with these sums a follow-up question. I say, hence, that means use what you've just proven and evaluate the second sum. Now we need to write this cos 105 as a cos 60 plus something and this cos 15 as a cos 60 minus something because I say hence evaluate. So I have to use that to evaluate this. So let's start. The cos 105 is the same as cos 60 plus 45 degrees minus the cos 15 can be written as 60 minus 45 and we've just that if you have this pattern, the answer is negative square root 3 sine the second degrees. So this will be negative square root 3 sine the theta and it stands second, so 45 degrees. You know how I got that? No. Okay, they tell us use this. Use that and calculate this. That's the word hence. Hence means don't start all over again. Use what you've just proven and evaluate this sum. So I need, I have a cos minus cos, cos minus cos. So I need to rewrite this 105 degrees as 60 degrees plus something. So it's 60 plus 45. And I need to rewrite the cos 15 as 60 minus something. So it's 60 minus 45. Then I say, Okay, if you have this pattern, the answer is negative square root 3 sine the second degree. So, it's negative square root 3 sine the second degrees. Now you only need to work out sine 45 degrees. So we have negative square root 3 times... Sine 45 is op uh, opposite over hypotenuse. 1 over square root 2. Now we multiply. Minus square root 3 over square root 2. But we can't leave a fraction with a root or a third as a denominator. You have to rationalize it. Square root 3 times square root 2 gives you negative square root 6 over square root 2 times square root 2 gives you 2. That's your answer. Then we'll be fine. Oh, 
Drink some water. Do you have water with you? Can I carry on with the next example? special angles because you're not allowed to use a calculator. So you're only allowed to use the triangles. So how can I write it? Um, if I say without a calculator, there's no way on earth that you can work out sine 75 without a calculator, except when you use your special angles. Okay. This couple angles can be made in calculating the other angles by using yes. So we can write sine 75 degrees as sine what? 45 plus 30. 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. And now we use our little pattern. Sine is sine 45 cos 30. The sine stays the same. Plus cos 45 sine. We have special angles, so we use our triangles to work out sine 45 and cos 30 plus cos 45 sine 30. Sine 45, opposite over hypotenuse, 1 over square root 2. Cos 30, adjacent over hypotenuse, square root 3 over 2. Cos 45, adjacent over hypotenuse, 1 over square root 2. Sine 30, opposite over hypotenuse, half. Now we multiply numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. And we get square root 3 over 2 square root 2 plus 1 over 2 square root 2. Put both fractions on one denominator, 2 square root 2, so it's square root 3 plus 1. However, we're not allowed to have the third as the denominator so we multiply with square root 2 over square root 2. Then why would you also put the distribution? Isn't it 1 times 1? 1 times 1 is 1. Oh, the 2. We only want to get rid of the third. So we only multiply with the third. Now we have square root 3 plus 1 times the square root 2. So the square root 2 must be multiplied into the bracket. And you get square root 6 
plus square root 2 over 2 square root 2 times square root 2 is 2 times 2 and that is 4 and that's your answer any more questions will you be able to do this 